Oh guys, today we're our CD Projekt Red. So CD Projekt Red is continuing to get more and more trouble with gamers. GOG will not, with the CD Projekt Red, will not be selling a horror game banned in China after many messages from gamers. It turns out they will not be selling the game at all. Oh, you know, um, which will which will see that come to CD Projekt Red storefront, but they said that no, oh, China said no. <laughs> China said no, we can't sell the game. And what was so bad about the game? Well, there was a reference to a meme making fun of the Chinese president. Yep, that's the reason why his game was banned. You know, you know the China, you know, <laughs> they want, and it says South Korea, we don't know what to see the Chinese government. They want the game banned, not the players, okay? They'll say it's players, but it's, it's, we don't know what the Chinese government. They want this game banned because it makes the player, the reader looks bad, which is completely ridiculous. This is ridiculous here. You know, and, and yep, it's a horror game, which again, again, it's not my favorite genre of games or movies. I watch them occasionally, basically, but yep, CD Projekt Red. But then we have the even bigger story. This is just one game, of course. This game was already controversial, you know, ever since it was announced because of that meme, you know, a few years ago. This game was, has been out for a year now, and because of China, they wouldn't let this game release. But $1 billion has been lost by CD Projekt Red. One billion dollars has been lost. Yep. <laughs> this is what you get for, you know, making console gamers angry. And not want to buy your game. Okay. Those wants, reviews matter. Not, not, the, not IGN. Not, you know, you know, you know, not the critic reviews. Nobody trusts those crit, uh, quote, unquote, critics anymore. Okay. But this is, this is karma here. Okay. Karma here. If you have an Xbox or Sony console, okay, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, you're essentially screwed over with a got completely unfinished and incomplete game. Of course, yeah, and of course we can compare this to the the horribleness of of course the Batman Arkham Knight port for the PC. You know how they were literally had you know we or give but again they were really giving refunds for all for anybody who bought Batman Arkham Knight for the PC and then they fixed the entire game. And then the game came out on, you know, and it was actually playable and actually was good. But there's a problem that is continuing to happen with game developers. They, you know, it's it's always a the way, and they, that this is what they are hiding <laughs> from you, from you. That's why they are copyright striking companies. It's always when companies are scared of you criticizing them that they always do this stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. Cyberpunk. Garbage! Don't buy the game. I didn't buy the game. I was I was planning on buying the game, until they copyright strike my channel. I said okay, then screw you, Project CD Red. Screw you. You don't get my money. You don't get my money. And guess what? It worked out. I didn't get. I don't get the game. I missed out on pay screen nothing good. <laughs> I missed out on a pile of garbage basically. That's what I missed out on the next fall seventy six. Okay. And this was the most anticipated game of 2020. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just gonna be playing better, much better games like Overwatch than Project CD Red's trash. Goodbye.